I think what I'm excited about the most is just continuing what we were sort of exploring in the first season, this maturation of finding and owning her being a woman and, and finding out how to balance and juggle everything at once and be a superhero and a human being who wants to fall in love and have a career. You know, there's a little bit of tension there. Um, and what's, what's great is that you see that there's this, uh, there's a great backstory where, you, where something, something is explained and, um, and they, you know, they nearly kicks off, you know, there's, it nearly kicks off between the, the soups and, and Martians. So um, that's going to be exciting to play. So uh, yeah, we get, to, we get to do some cool stuff. And they have such unique perspectives because Kara spent her entire childhood on Krypton. Like she has all these memories that I think he wishes he had. He was a baby, but at the same time, he doesn't have the angst of have carrying those memories. And I think that that um, that informs both of who they are, and it, it, they each admire that about each other. There's not a lot of conflict between them. They're both kind of just great people. Um, great Kryptonians uh, and uh, but it's just fun to get them together and and it's also you know the show's about Supergirl and I think you feel that even in the Superman episodes but it just it that's her family and, and now that Laura Bonatti's off playing Melania Trump uh, it's it's the only family she's got left so we can well, you know it, it makes sense they would they would uh, spend some time together but she knows who she is when, as Supergirl but when it comes to being car she still has some some work to do and I think James does too. And uh, so that, that kind of causes a rift in a way. And Superman is there and he gives some good advice. To me, we, we had that bro to bro conversation. Yep, but we had the bro to bro conversation about me and his cousin. And he doesn't knock me out, so that's a good thing. Positive. Yeah, because yeah, that would hurt. And uh, then I, give, I also give him some advice about who's car, who Carr is becoming as well. So like, it's, it's a cool relationship. But I think it just just capturing the human side of him, you know, I think that's the thing. It's like above all other things, like yes, he's here as an alien, but I think he, this is his home. It's Earth is home for him. His family is home for him. Um, so just remembering that he's that he's a person and he happens to be able to do some pretty incredible things uh, that can help some people. But just realizing who he is here. Even with the involvement.